Hey there, Andrew from C1D Paintball. This is a good dispatch. This is a very good dispatch. Sunday morning, I wake up. That's Sunday morning, uh, August 1st. And I have a bunch of Facebook Messenger, uh, the, you know, the Messenger Facebook thing there, messages saying with links. I click on the link and this is what I see. Bientôt, Army Globe. Paintball, le terrain à la salle. Unquestionably, that's LaSalle Paintball's field. It was LaSalle Paintball before it was Arnold's, and for the really old guys, they'll know it as Tombstone. Yes, the field is opening again. Um, I actually sent messages to the uh, people who posted this, which is uh, Army Globe. They have stores, they have Army Globe supplies, so they have like military surplus, uh, camping goods and stuff. Well, it looks like they're taking over the field. And uh, I actually sent them a message saying I was excited about it and I'd make a video. Uh, did they want me to say anything? Just because I know I've made like over, I think 75 or 80 videos with sell paintballs. So uh, a lot of people who frequent the field watch the videos. So if I could reach any of them through the videos, what I, could say, and they went simply, uh, LaSalle Paintball reopening soon under Army Globe Field. Uh, we just signed the lease yesterday, which would be Saturday. We need to clean a bit and install everything, so we don't have an official date yet, but we'll try to open as soon as we can, and really, I'm not going to freak out. There's no date. It's, it's happening, which is great. Now, when Arnold's was closing down, there was a little gap where... Then everybody found out, you know, what's closing down. They didn't know. They didn't realize somebody else was buying it. It was almost like a, tra a seamless transition. That wasn't the case this time. So when a couple of people said, well, the salt paintball is closing down, maybe somebody else will buy it. In this time of COVID, where opening a business like that, where social distancing greatly affects things, you know what's going to happen. That was up in the air. And they signed the lease. So they didn't take over lease. They signed the lease. So... You know, uh, for a while, the field was closed. It wasn't in a transition. At least that's the information I got. But you know, it doesn't matter. It's going to open. So we have uh, another indoor field in Montreal that's always been affordable, that's always been, you know, top notch. The guys from LaSalle Paintball did a great job keeping everything going. I mean, when you look at the video, with the exception of a couple of obstacles that I believe are on the second floor somewhere else, <laughs> It looks like a couple hours of work and you play right away, but that's obviously just the field. These guys got to get all the gear and everything. And then from their website, they seem to sell some of the gear. They're going to stock it up. And the most important thing, and they're going to put the work, they're going to polish it. They're going to put the financial commitment to it. Now it's on us. And I sent them another message saying, let me know what night you do open. I want to be there the first night. I want to be there the first night. Uh, we have another indoor option in Montreal. Otherwise, there was just one. It's good to have more than one. A familiar field with deep historic roots in the Montreal area. And uh, just psyched that it's coming. Uh, I don't know any details what the costing and everything is going to be like. But the, traditionally, it is a well-cost place. Treats members well. Um, and I understand with COVID and everything, uh, costs may go up a bit. But that, that goes without saying because... We know there's a cost of the sport, and before it was it was almost ridiculously affordable uh, for paintball standards to attend Arnold's and, and LaSalle paintball. So, uh, and, you know, we got to support them. If we want fields, I mean, my, my feeds have been lighting up and people messaging me with this news. And uh, it's, it's just great news. And as soon as I get information, as soon as I get any more information, I'll pass it on. Otherwise, you know, just keep on keeping on. I mean... Connor and I and some of the uh, C1D guys were going out for other events in the next little while, but there may be a gap. we got three or four more videos, and then the well one ones runs dry for our action videos. But, hey, we've got some coming. we got our old home field back, and hopefully it's home going on for a long, long time. Uh, good luck to the new owners, and, and um, just a call to arms. All the people that were playing at LaSalle Paintball before, let's get behind these guys and go, go, go. Thanks for watching. Uh, and hey, I oh, almost forgot Flag Raiders paintball institution on my bucket list. My brother-in-law lives in Kitchener. We always wanted to play there. We planned on going last summer COVID, this summer COVID. A lot of people already know uh, they need to find a new place. Save Flag Raiders. There's a lot of links. There's a lot of uh, places on Facebook and social media. 
you got to help these guys. Uh, they have a few options, but uh, none of them are panning out yet. So save Flag Raiders. We saved this historical field in LaSalle. This the actual town is in is in LaSalle. So LaSalle Paintball is the name of the most recent owners. But when I refer to, let's say, let's say the LaSalle field. So uh, just great news, as you can tell by my, uh, you can probably check my heartbeat by the pounding here right now, how excited I am. Uh, can't wait to give you more news. And uh, let's keep the positive news rolling along. Help everybody in paintball. Support your local fields. Support your local vendors. Be positive. At the end of the day, it's just a game. Have a good day.